Welcome back to Give Me Five with the Jones and Eli guest pod edition. And oh boy, do we have a great guest today. Great friend of ours. Great friend of the pod, Obi Sedransk. Obi, thank you so much for being with us. And boy, we have a question. We were talk- already arguing about this before the show. Obi, if you could be born again in the year that you were born, but with all the knowledge that you have right now, would you do it? That's a really good question. I mean, first of all, I just want to thank you guys for having me on today. Very happy. Oh, my camera turned off. Very happy to be here this morning with you guys. Um, I, I really appreciate that you guys took your time to, like, get me prepared and stuff. Send, not sending me the guest guide that I should have known before coming out here. So we're kind of going off the cuff, which is a little bit crazy. Um, in terms of the question, I'm going to have to say no. Because my mind, medi- my mind immediately jumps to all of the annoying birthday parties for two-year-olds, three-year-olds, four-year-olds that I just don't want to deal with. I already did that all once in my life. I already met Spider-Man 25 times. I don't really (laughs) need to do that again. So I'm going to have to say no here. Um, And and I know we were talking before the show, um, Eli and I, about how weird would it be if you just come out of the womb a talking baby? That, that, That seems a little bit sus. Yes, it would be a little bit sus. It would be a little bit weird. And yes, you might have to sit through the annoying birthday party or two. But you're not thinking through the, how amazing this would be. You would be an international phenom, superstar, amazing person ever. You would come out of the womb, even if you don't talk on day one. By day two, you're solving high-level mathematic equations. You're speaking full sentences. You're speaking multiple languages. You're, I mean, I don't know how many languages you speak, but you're... <laughs> You're, you're, you're just, you're a man of the world already. You're graduating college at the age of five. At a certain point, you're not going to birthday parties anymore, right? When your parents see that by the age of two, you're an actual genius, they're not sending you to Timmy's birthday party. They're sending you to university and you are graduating that at the age of five and you're moving on to bigger and better things, guys. And also, you got to think about the gambling aspect of it. I know I talk about gambling a lot on the pod, but... In this kid situation, it is pretty valuable. You would know everything that happened, right? You're going back to the year you were born. So it's not like you're getting born again today. You're going back in time. And so you would have a knowledge of the things that happened between then and now. And you could bet on everything. Even if you're not eligible to bet, tell somebody older, tell your parents, tell somebody, tell them to invest in like Apple. Dude, you're a billionaire. Man, sports gambling, if you went back to the time that we were born, I mean, you're, you're doing that with the mafia. I don't think you, sports gambling was not legal. So first of all, good luck getting your parents involved in that ring. That's out. Plus, I probably forgot half the winners. I know the Angels won the World Series the year we were born, but that's probably all I know. I do not know who was winning in 2003. It was the Marlins. I, whatever's the Marlins, Miguel Cabrera. <laughs> I don't want to be that like ridiculous genius being in college at the age of five sounds absolutely horrible. And you say solving complex math equations and speaking multiple languages. I can't do that now. So why would I be able to do that when I'm reborn as myself? I just think I likened it to like this. It's like when we film a Give Me Five podcast and we screw up at the very end. So then we go back to the beginning and then we try to recreate all the things. I'm pretty happy with the way my life has gone so far. Uh, there's been ups and downs for sure, but I don't want to have to redo everything. I'm going to be trying to recreate a lot of things. Sure, I do some things different, but I don't want to be a prodigy child. I'm fine progressing at a normal rate. I 100% agree with you, Jonah. I mean, you really want to be a five-year-old in college, Eli? Like, does that sound appealing to you? It's a choice. You don't have to go to college at age five. I'm just saying you would be so smart. You would know so many things that you would be treated like you're going to be able to speak like an adult at the age of five. You're going to be able to have fully intellectual conversations like this one at the age of five. You're going to be able to contribute at the family dinners, contribute at, you know, the holidays, talk to people. Even if you don't go to college, you're just so far past. You're not hanging out with, like, Goo Goo Gaga over there. Think about Boss Baby. You're the new Boss Baby, okay? But but is that desirable to be, the Boss Baby? Like, I look at the biggest – you say you're going to be, like, an icon in culture. I don't think, like, babies in cult- – like – any like smart well, prodigies the are, are the king of culture. You would be but I don't want to be that guy. I'll be like all over Twitter and memes and stuff. Like I'd rather be known for my accomplishments as a regular person. One hundred percent. How how like what? How would you deal with all of that pressure? You're a five year old on national television having conversations with 
whatever news anchor is interviewing you about your <laughs> about your upbringing. Like that is so weird. What, also, what? I'm not, yeah. not to mention, I don't know if I could deal with 21 years of the Rangers not winning a Stanley Cup. I, I don't know if I can do 21 more years of it. I don't think it's possible. You're going to have to do it anyway, so that doesn't matter. <laughs> All right. That was a low blow. That was a really low blow. At least, I, I, at least we would get to see two Eli Manning Super Bowls. But, I mean... <laughs> I think that would be the only reason to do it, honestly. We'd see another Joe Flacco Super Bowl. It'd be, it'd be nice. But we would still end up right back here with, uh, with the current era of Tommy Cutlets. And I don't know if I could deal with him either. After <laughs> 21 years, it's Super Bowl. I think the other thing, and and I'm not trying to gas myself down or gas any of us down, but we're not so so like we're we're great guys, but we're not like so above average that we'd be able to meet this prodigy level. So once I'm talking, <laughs> yeah, no. yes, we're we're average, maybe a bit above average, a bit below average, whatever you want to say for 21 year olds. But as a two year old, we'd be pretty fucking prodigal. Yeah, but. I don't know because we're saying our brain is in the same place. I don't know if our brain has like the same elasticity that a prodigy's brain would have, meaning like we could learn language so quickly or learn piano so quickly. I would think like not. And then yeah. when my parents start putting pressure on me and throwing me behind a piano, making me learn a second language, I'm getting lab tests. I mean, scientists, dude, if you come out of the womb talking like – like the CIA is coming after you and like trying to find out what happened there because this is like a new way they could build – advanced soldiers you don't think people like the government are going to start investigating you yeah you're gonna get your life is gonna get taken over 100 percent. i mean think about the boys you have all these kids being born with superpowers right like they have miserable lives that's all the show is about is how miserable they are as as children in their upbringing and how all their past traumas are just are are, are I, I don't even know what to say um they they lead to like a terrible life I mean, I just, I just don't think that being a zero one-year-old that can talk is that exciting. Also, Jonah makes a really good point. Like when you learn a language, when you're in middle school, when you're in high school, your brain is at its capacity to, uh, to uh, absorb the most information ever. You're telling me that you could pick up and learn a new language right now at 20, 21 years old. I, I don't think it's as, as likely. I don't, I just yeah, don't. You'd be zero. But the, the the point is, no, I agree. No, no, but your brain I, no, no, yeah, is yeah, a twenty one yeah. year old brain. Okay, ag agree that you. Okay, fine. Maybe then, if you don't know language at this point already, then you're you're fucked on the language front. We'll forget about that. But I think if you were zero years old, one year old, you don't need to be Tchaikovsky. If you played Mary Had a Little Lamb on the piano two days after you were born, people would be like, "Oh my god, this kid is amazing." Going okay, to America's Got Talent. Like, yeah, you can walk. You know how to walk. But like, like mentally, are you your muscles walk. and bones strong Which enough I don't know to be about that. I mean, that's like walk? a question for a scientist. Because like you know head, how to walk. No, but your head weighs more than the rest of your body <laughs> at, at, when you're a newborn. So you're telling me you're just gonna plop down on the floor and start walking, and then what happens? You tip over head first, you hit your head, bang, you're dead. You haven't even made it past the first five minutes of life. <laughs> yeah, there would be there would be challenges of just being in a new body and stuff like that. I think I, if I was to get in this scenario, I wouldn't do what Eli did and be the prodigy because like Obi and I have talked about, way too much pressure, horrible things, who knows what the government would do. But what I would do is I would just start playing a sport. I'd start playing like baseball or basketball or football and just get really, really good at a young age, get the scholarship well, offers, go to Alabama, get drafted. That wouldn't by... work. That goes against everything you just said. Like, what are you, you talking about? Like, how would you learn? Like, you're not going to be able to become a bigger guy or a, a faster guy or anything like that because you're going to develop the same way physically. I, I think if, I, 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 if, if, I, if yeah, I started it playing, early. well, I could become bigger from working out. If I played football every day from the age I was two, I think I could be like a decent slot receiver in the NFL. If right, I played think it about, every think day. About the, think about the training regimen. You can't tell me that, yes, you're born with the same brain. But your body can transform over the course of yeah, but you can't way grow different. like in terms of height. You can't grow. You can only was Wes Welker. Okay, Jones. Do you think there are not a million guys who are playing football every day from the age of five years old, ten year old, whatever, who don't end up in the NFL, who don't no, end up professional they, no, athletes? Because they burn out. They they, had they don't have the brain. They don't have the brain. You don't think you would burn out? No, man. I love the game too much. Are you kidding me, dude? You uh, it, it, you <laughs> would have to. And, and, and the thing about this is you're saying, oh, yeah, these superheroes have miserable lives. Yeah, I agree. You're not a fucking superhero. You're just a 21-year-old kid trapped in, you know, a zero-year-old's body. And so you have an ability then 
to use the knowledge that you want to use and withhold the knowledge that you want to withhold. You don't have super strength. The FBI is not doing, or the CIA is not doing studies on you. You just, if you want to on any given day, you know, tell your family, hey guys, you heard about this new Apple stock. I would, I would get in on that. Well, you know, while you still can you invest a little bit of money in Bitcoin, do all that stuff. Like you can. And if you don't want to freak people out by running races at the age of two, you don't have to. Let's 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 talk about the idea of like making friends. Like your your brain is at is at a twenty one year old age. Who are you friends with? You, you said you're not friends with the babies. You can't talk, obviously, because why would you want to be friends with them? But you're just gonna be hanging out all like nine inches of you with <laughs> with with twenty one year olds. You're gonna go to college parties and get stepped on. Our time's wrapping up, unfortunately. But yeah, Eli will be friends with everybody as he is the official new boss, baby. This has been Gimme Five with Jones and Eli. A special thanks to Obi Sedrans for talking today. Boys, it's been a pleasure.